Hey everybody, my name is Kedemar and welcome back from the video of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Now I gotta be honest with you guys. I wasn't planning on coming back to, not this, but to back to NHL itself uh, for a while because I had another game coming up, uh, which was called Earth Analog. Uh, I was really excited to play Earth Analog, but then I was not sure if I wanted to play for the game or not. Um, so I waited. For reviews and stuff and turned out that the game is not so good so I decided you know what I'm not gonna play the game because the game looks like it's an indie game 25 bucks it doesn't cost anything but the problem is it doesn't like it looked kind of iffy at first but it looked like a fun game it's like a, a space adventure type of game but uh, most of the reviews that I've seen so far are not that good uh, onto it so I'm gonna wait it out a little bit more for the, if I want to play that game, boys. We're gonna wait out uh, to see more reviews, I guess, for it. Uh, till a couple of days, maybe there's gonna be good reviews. I don't know, boys. But right now, I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna to continue to play this. I'm gonna play, uh, obviously, as well. I'm gonna be continuing to play the NHL series. So uh, let's just keep doing our thing. We got the uh, daily rewards right here, right there. So let's just do that. We also got a message. There's no bother in us actually trying to read the message right now. It seems like it's just another one of those regular missions. Hopefully, I don't have to fight these dudes. Oh, I'm getting shot. Remember, I'm lagging too. This is not helping out, boys. The fact that I'm lagging all over the place right now. All right, let's just fight these guys up, I guess. Seems like there's actually a boss fight super close to us. Like, re like right beside us, there's another human fighting it at that point. Maybe not helping, boys, that we have to fight these soldiers right after, uh, right outside of it. But uh, maybe uh, that human uh, can help us. I don't know, boys. How does it? Uh, I don't even know how he's doing over there on his own. I actually don't know. Oh, is he doing all right? I'm gonna actually help him out just for funsies, you know. I want to help him out as much as possible. There we go. Uh, help him out, boys. There we go. Let's let's be friends with it, right? Somebody is struggling like that. He's, uh, he's doing it like a mini boss fight and stuff. We might as well help him out as much as possible right here, boys. Get him. All right. I'm going to get that pretty quick. But right here. There we go. Going to uh, get you uh, right there. And help you out with the last uppercut. That should do the trick. And there he goes, boys. All right. So let me uh, go ahead and just do a, give him a sign really quick. Emotes. Communication. Uh, apologize. Bow. There we go, bow, and there we go. So that's done. All right, I just bowed to him, I guess. Just to let him know that um, I, I helped him out. I was just there to help him out real quick and stuff like that, right? It's fun to just help out people sometimes. You know, you, there's one guy that, I, I mean, obviously he wasn't struggling or anything, but more help the better, I guess, right? Everybody needs help uh, for these boss fights. I wish I would have more help more often and stuff like that from random strangers, so. I mean, I'm there for that. Uh, where do we go from there, though? Do I have to go from this side? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight a bunch of dudes. This, this like this canyon itself is like super, yeah, super heavily trend, uh, like um, full of people. It's full of people right now, so I don't know. I have to go back actually. I hope not. Oh my fucking god! You gotta be kidding me! Leave me alone! I'm not fighting you. They just threw me off my speeder, boys, just like that. What the fuck is wrong with them? I'm out of here, boys. I'm not finding these goons. You can think again about that one. I'm going to ask my companion right here to actually follow me. I'm going to ask her to follow me around, boys. So, uh, there we go. We don't have to fight them anymore. Just like that. That's how you... If you want to evade, just ignore these characters. Ignore, the, ignore these people. And they call your par partner back to you. Tell him to follow you, actually, instead of fighting the enemy. And uh, you should be fine eventually, right? Unless they're super fast and they don't let... Some of them don't let up, but... Uh, most For the most time, for the most part, it does uh, happen. So enter the Jaya Library. It seems like I just have to take the actual route right here. So this entire time was wasting my time. I thought I was going to an actual shortcut or something. I guess not. We're just going to take a speeder. All right, you go, boys. At the speeder itself, I just uh, traveled there. A little quick transitioning for you guys to make it a little bit easier for you guys to follow through. You don't need to sh uh, watch me just go from place to place. I don't think I need to watch them. Uh, I need to fight them or anything. I just can't follow him straight up. It seems like we are part of the same mission, really. So 
I can just follow him through. Whatever uh, he, whoever he decides to fight, I'm probably gonna not have to fight either. So, yeah, we can just ignore these people. We're good right now. Yeah, let's just follow him through, boys. There you go. Even he doesn't have to fight anybody. So that's quite interesting, actually, that he has to fight. Uh, doesn't have to fight anybody. I'm just gonna follow him through, because if he has to fight somebody, uh, at least he's gonna be my shield, right? So if he has to fight anybody. He's gonna be my shield right here. You go first, my guy. I'm not fighting these people. If you want to fight them, that's fine. You're gonna be my shield. All right, there we go. Hey, good choice, man. We came uh, together on that one. All right, so let me see. Uh, I, I actually, I kind of actually want to change this time around, though. I do want to use Shea Vizsla, right? Time. Uh, no point in not using her if I don't have. Uh, like I spent all the quarter queens on her. I want to use her. You know, it's just how it is. Right, let's see what we got right here. Look at these people. Jedi and Sith fighting, boys. Over to this, uh, the library right now. Margus is coordinating the, uh, coordinating the attack. Commander. Major Anri. What's your plan? Not a plan. A proposition. You came to Osus to aid our mission. As the galaxy marches to war, you fight to see our empire triumph over its ancient enemies. Together, you and I can strike the first blow in that battle. We will find the leader of these Jedi, Nost Dural, and defeat him. We will show the galaxy that no Jedi can stand against our combined might. Just as the Republic cannot stand against the combined might of the Empire and your alliance. Try not to fall behind. Fine by me. I just hope you can keep up with me. Major, take the rest of the troops and sweep the building. Eradicate all who oppose you. We will do the same. So it looks like I've got Malgus now. Okay, so yeah, Malgus now is going to be my companion. I probably cannot uh, modify him or anything, boys. Yeah, I probably cannot modify him. I can probably modify... His lightsaber color. Hold on, really quick. I sure can, boys. There we go. I equipped the um, the white lightsaber on for uh, for him. Why not, right? Uh, I like the white lightsaber a lot, so I as well equip that on him. I got a bunch of equipments here. Commentary, uh, special boost uh, for companions. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I can't equip my lightsaber. I'm pretty sure I cannot like modify his look itself, but I can modify his lightsaber. So I might as well modify something, right? As much as I can. So let me. Uh, you go ahead and fight first because you're gonna be my hero. So you uh, basically need to be the tank and everything. There we go, buddy. Uh, just like that. That's what I like to see. All right, go, 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 go. Use my heroics, uh, not my heroics, but my AOEs on them. I don't think I need to defeat them uh, with heroics or anything. There's like uh, some minor Jedi masters and stuff like that. Look at that. It looks kind of gold on him. He's got the white lightsaber on, boys. It's weird. It's weird for him to have that type of thing, but it it looks kind of cool. All right, so find a way past the door. How am I going to do that? Do I have to fight these guys? I think I have to. I think I just got to fight these guys really quick. I'm going to help uh, my allies out really quick because it seems like they're really struggling right now. Let's just uh, help them out real quick, boys, because we got to find uh, 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 a way past the door and everything. So we might as well help them out for uh, while we're at it. Come on, man. Let's go. Get him up. All right, there you go for you. What about this? Do I have a, a pathway right here? Pathway to the door, I guess. Is there like, um, or I can go up? Maybe not. Hold on, there's something right here. So find a way, a pathway to the door. Oh, is that it? Right there? Using? Okay, so what is that exactly? I don't know. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna explode the door. Okay. I see you game. I see you, the mechanics and everything. Uh, how do I equip that? There we go. Hold on. I gotta be on a safe distance and everything. Okay, so that's it. Hold on. Let's explode. And we're going in, boys. All right, there it goes. There's a, a lot of people right here, actually. We gotta really make sure to not die right here or be careful at least. I'm gonna equip my shield on. Uh, it looks like I I'm actually gonna deal with the minor people first. And uh, yeah, let's just deal with the minor people first and, and afterwards deal with the, the main guy, I guess. Gotta go around, boys. Okay, uh, so now I'm targeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm still targeting one of the miners. Let me just go ahead and do that. All right, we're, they're all dead. 
We're good. We're good on that side. So we just gotta keep it moving, I guess. Let me just go ahead and be the tank, I guess, in that situation. No problems for me. Just some minor en uh, enemies and stuff like that. So I don't need to uh, worry too much, boys. Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right, these guys are dead. Getting a bunch of money out of that for sure. Uh, we gotta keep uh, killing these folks, boys. Keep killing them big time. A lot of uh, Jedi's and stuff. It's just fun. I mean, feels like we're raiding a, like a, a Jedi temple or something. It's not the case. It's like a mini uh, Jedi library, but it, it definitely feels like one of those Jedi temples that we could, like, we have the possibility of raiding and stuff. It's really fun. Let's go ahead and do our thing right here. Feels like the carbonization thing, the attack, the special attack. Feels like that type of attack that uh, you got, you want to use if you want to evade a character or, or an enemy or something, boys. It feels like really that type of thing. So find a way past the door again. Oh, I find it. I found it. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Can I jump? Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Good jump, boys. Uh, just like that. And uh, we got it right there. So we got that. Now, there's the door right here. We don't we don't actually have to fight any uh, everybody, boys. Just have to place these explosives on and we can get uh, past these doors. Do I have to fight any other dudes? It doesn't seem like it. Alright, so this is pretty much undefeated. This is definitely an ancient Jedi temple. Yeah, it feels like it, boys. Feels like an ancient Jedi temple. I could just get past these guards right here. I didn't even have to wait for them. Now, I am gonna have to fight these dudes, though. So let's uh, let's be careful. Let's hope that uh, they're gonna get me. They just cancelled out my attack. It's always great, boys, to be cancelled out like that. All right. Well, here we go. Let's just do our thing, I guess. Attack everybody right here. I just learned that uh, Gino Carano, right? The whole Gino Carano situation. I heard about it as I'm talking uh, yesterday, uh, before recording this. So uh, it, it happened at the same time. Uh, I heard it right before, like an hour after it happened, and it's pretty. I'm really saddened by that because Jenna, although she did say some pretty good stuff, so I, I guess she kind of deserves to be fired in that instance because she said some pretty stupid stuff, uh, or she probably just, uh, from what I've seen, haven't really said anything that stupid, but she should have probably just like not say anything at all, you know, because she knew what was coming for her and uh, she kept saying stuff, so... I guess that's all our business goes, boys. I, I guess it's fine that she got fired. The thing that bothers me is the fact that other people from Lucasfilms or LucasArts, right? Whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, they, they are kind of hypocrites uh, in that sense. It's like very bureaucratic, boys, because I, I can swear every day there's at least one of the employees at Lucasfilms that just likes to pick a, pick a side and just likes to like make fun of the fans and stuff like that they just like to do these types of things and for some reason it's okay for them to just to make fun of the fans and to basically treat us like we're nobodies or like garbage but as soon as it's like an actress or somebody that picks a side our side like is on our side and she does a mistake or all of a sudden it's not good. I feel like there's something somewhere, boys. Something that's going on here. Something more than this whole Twitter bullshit. It's definitely more than that, boys. I just... That's all I'm saying. There's something fishy about all of this. Jedi Master Nos Dural. Darth Malgus. Alive and well. This explains the sudden shift to more aggressive tactics against us. And you must be the commander of the Alliance. Ultimate destroyer of the Sith Emperor. A story I would have loved to document. A pity that two such influential leaders would waste their potential by traveling here just to burn some old books and kill an old man. Stalling won't change anything, my guy. You can play for time if you want, but there's no help coming. In that case, let's find out if you can live up to your respective legends. So be it, Jedi. Let's do it. Uh, you go first, buddy. You go first. I'm going to equip my heroics as soon as I'm uh, done uh, equipping all my specials right here. Oh, are you good? All right, let's go in, boys. Let's go in. I'm actually going to attack uh, him with all of this uh, attack right here. 
He's like a mini force ghost or an hologram. What type of ability is that, boys? All right, just use all my special attacks on him. Fire on him, boys. There we go. He's using all sorts of weird ass attacks. I don't know what uh, uh, these are, but there we go. I'm force choking him, boys. He can't even. He's not even powerful enough to prevent me from force choking him. So that that tells you a lot of stuff about this guy. I mean, he's supposedly a really good, like, powerful Jedi, the Jedi Master, but from the, like, uh, the console and all, but he's not that powerful. I feel like he's more of a librarian than anything. He's definitely more of a, of a counselor, boys. And, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's definitely not his thing at all, right? It's not, the combat situation is not his thing. He's not uh, used to fighting uh, people. So I'm guessing that's why he's not that uh, that big of a deal, I guess. Phantom of John Cyrus? Who the fuck is that? I don't know why, where he came from, boys, but this Force Ghost, uh, Force Ghost bullshit right now. Ain't gonna save him. Go, 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 get him. Let's just get him, the, the main guy. We don't need to worry about the, the other guy. There we go. Yeah, there he goes, boys. The other ghost, it don't matter. Wait, can he suddenly just Force Ghost out of the air? What the hell's going on here? There's one more uh, Jedi done to with, though. Tenebrae. It seems I'll be meeting my fate in distinguished company. Left to me, this library will be your grave, Jedi. But your fate is in the commander's hands. You will be a valuable prisoner? Nah, just kill him. He's no use to us. I'd say you have the right idea. Kill him before he bores us to death with another lecture. We finished here. Rally the surviving troops outside. Yes, my lord. One less member of the Jedi Council to worry about, boys. We're doing pretty well right now. Look at this. Game's lagging a lot right now. It seems like a Republic Starfighter, so that's not good. Reinforcements. I guess there were reinforcements right here. Bombers. They're attacking the camp. Major, all troops, return to base at once. I guess Master uh, Norse uh, Dural or whatever, he sacrificed himself for, I guess, timing for them to counterattack, for the Republic to counterattack, probably. Don't think that's going to work out too much or anything, but uh, all right, I guess it did work out a little bit. It did do some damage, but nothing we can't come back from, you know. Major. We lost a lot of equipment, some gear and supplies, several of our troops stationed on lookout, but it could have been much, much worse. See? The ground. fact that I did my thing, we boys, helped, out the uh, helped us out in having a, a lot less losses. That's really good, man. That's a Major. victory for our, in our hands. Images of Nostral's corpse are transmitted to the enemy. I, my lord. Commander, thank you for everything. It's been a real honor. Oh, I gotta flirt with her. All, uh, of course, I'm go I will, boys. I told you guys already in the last video I was gonna flirt with her if I got the chance. If you ever need my help again, I'm all yours. Well, I just may. Farewell. There we go. S planting the seeds for some rather uh, uh, future romantic uh, possibilities between uh, between the both of us boys. I love it. I love this guy, a girl, a lot, man. She's such a great character. I just want to see her more often. I want to hang out with her, for sure, boys. My lord, incoming broadcast from Empress Asina.
Maldus. I'm told you've completed your task in customarily ruthless fashion. We have slain countless Jedi, including the overseer of this colony, Nos Dural. His loss will cut our enemies deeply. Impressive work indeed, but I've learned of an equally fascinating opportunity. Though it appears to have escaped your notice, the Jedi successfully raised numerous crops on that dead planet. Whatever techniques they applied there could have been seized and applied to generate plentiful food for our troops in this time of severe shortages. Fortunately, the Alliance commander was more attentive and captured the data from the Jedi computers. Well done, Commander. You've ensured a strong Imperial military for years to come. Of I'm course. That I, could be of service, Empress. I did my thing. And what of the remaining Jedi, Empress? Our ships have detected shuttles evacuating in droves. They will intercept as many as possible, and we will leave a meager force to protect against further incursions. Your mission on Osus is over. Return to me at once, so that we may prepare you for your next assignment. Commander, your assistance is, as always, deeply appreciated. The Sith Empire is made stronger by its ties to your alliance. Our renewed war against the Republic has only just begun. But I am certain that you will become our greatest asset in the battles to come. Farewell. That's good to know. I'm always happy to uh, work with the Empire. Be proud of this victory. Hope you don't expect a hug. Why do you serve a Cena? Yeah, why do you serve a Cena? Won't you, like, that's the one thing I'm trying to understand here. I can't understand why you're willing to be another one of a Cena's servants. You should hope that you never do. Well, he's gone, Today, boys. We began a war, one that I've already fought twice. Twice our empire has set the galaxy ablaze. Twice we have tried to burn away the hypocrisies and weaknesses of the Republic and their Jedi. Twice we have failed. You didn't have me the, uh, the first two times. That's the difference. You must not fail again, Commander. For there is precious little tinder left to keep our fire burning. Farewell. Farewell, Malgus. Until we not see each other ever again, I hope. Look, I don't know, man. He's saying all of this, but the, the, the main difference is definitely that I wasn't there for the, the, the first two times. I wasn't there to help them out. I'm there now. I mean, there's a reason I'm the best bounty hunter in the world, right? I'm an uh, outlander, commander, whatever you want to call me. I'm the best out there. For a fair price, I can work with anybody, boys. Really of course, the, uh, Empire, the Republic is not willing to pay me uh, for anything at all. They expect me to do anything for free, boys. And that's the problem between the Republic and me. Is uh, They've never understood me. Never understood why uh, a guy like me would need, uh, would actually need to, uh, to get paid and stuff like that for some reason, right? Makes no sense, right? What is this, though? Look at that. that. That person is huge. Whatever that creature is, it's huge as hell. Holy shit. Alright, so meet with the Alliance uh, leaders. Use the Osus Imperial Mission Board. Do I have to continue doing stuff on Osus? It's probably the same thing as the, uh, uh, the other thing, right? Where if I uh, interact with the Mission Board, I'm probably going to have to do a couple of uh, side stuff, I guess. Probably, boys. Hold on. Let's uh, let's check that out really quick. Where's the mission board at? Is it uh, all the way up there, or is it? Oh, it's right here. There it is. So is that the mission board? There we go. Imperial mission board. Okay. Now, so I just had to do that. Okay. I see you, game. Now, uh, there's actually we can check the emails. Lana, what do you have to say? Uh, your return to the imperial fold has been received with uh, well by most alliance personnel. Naturally, there are some w uh, with non-imperial backgrounds who have expressed reservations. I will monitor all such individuals and inform you if there are a, a case of concern. Of course, you will. Uh, should you wish it, I can also begin installing subliminary uh, pro-imperial signage and audio throughout the base. 
I came across very promising research on the subject during my time as a Sith intelligence. Something as mundane as an elevator chime can be modified to have a surprisingly potent impact on political opinions. Alright, so she's asking me if I want to change political opinions of people like by manipulating their minds and stuff like that, like real life. I don't think I'm just going to do that just yet. I'll let them have their own opinion. If I see some changes though of, of, of opinion where maybe a coup d'etat or something is in the works, then I might consider very strongly to like manipulate them myself. But uh, until then, I don't think I need to change anything. So I think we just need to go back, right? We need to go back to our planet. It seems like it, so let's just head back, boys. All right, boys, we're here in the Alliance operations. Let's just go ahead and do our thing. We, we did the whole Osses thing. I imagine now we're really getting close. I think this is, if this is what I think it is, it means that we're really getting close. Uh, the, the, the next cutscene, it means that we're really getting close to um, the end right there to the newest update, the newest uh, thing. So we'll see really quick. Uh, let's enter and see if that's the cutscene I think it is. All right. Looks like we've got just about everyone. How are we doing? Internal security remains solid. I've caught two Republic spies since OSIS. Both were disguised as cargo pilots seeking work. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objective. All right, so consult uh, Sith intelligence. I suspect there are more. Just consult the Sith intelligence then. We should coordinate your efforts with Sith intelligence. They could be helpful. I'll contact Darth Zarian at once. I've gathered intelligence from Theron's assets as best as I can. Uh, we have reports from most of the major conflict zones, which I forwarded to Baywan. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides. Should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessa. There's uh, one other matter we should discuss now that you're aligned with the Empire again. We've accomplished a lot here. I'm proud to have worked under your command. We've made the galaxy a better place. But I'm also proud of my past. I served the Republic for years. I can't fight them. So, I'm retiring. I've recommended a replacement, Commodore Pardax. Ex-Imperial, very sharp. She'll serve you well. Lana's already vetted her, and I'll stick around long enough to get her up to speed. I don't know about that. I don't know if I should let you retire. You could come back to bite me in the ass and go back to the Repub Republic. I don't know about that. I don't trust you. Lana, I want security posted at all times to keep him from revealing any secrets to his Republic friends. As you wish. If you wish to retire, you'll be spied on at all times, my guy. If you are not with me, then you are my enemy, so just like Anakin would say. Science lab. Improvements to Odessa's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hi, Lo. We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Me and the crew have been running one of the old Thranta Corvettes. We're patrolling the route between here and Sakul. It's bad over there. Some of the city spires have closed themselves off completely. Others are actually taking shots at each other. And those gangsters from the exchange? They're moving in all over the place. Nearly half the provisional government is tied to them somehow. I know they want to go their own way. But Sakul is my home. It's home for a lot of our people. I think we should try to help. We don't have time for them. I have better things to do than help out the Coolins. Not a chance. I never want to hear about the cool again. I guess I'll have to deal with it myself. Sana Ray is touring the reconstruction efforts on Voss, so I believe we're finished. Offer some closing remarks. Uh, finally, thanks. Meeting a join. All right, so offer some closing remarks. Uh, nah. Just, uh, let's just, uh, say finally. Good. Let's 
get back to work. Let's all get back to work right well, now. There's one final matter for you. Lord Izar, a representative of the Imperial Outreach Division, has asked to speak with you. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Okay, so I don't think we're there just yet, boys, in terms of final cutscenes and stuff like that. I don't think we're there just yet, boys, so... Uh, I guess we have a couple of mi more missions to do, I guess. Uh, Alright, so... It's all good, then. Uh, let's go uh, use the auto terminal. See, uh, Lord Izar wants to talk to me from the Imperial side. What do they've got to me, man? It's all about a bunch of bureaucracy right now, boys. Greetings, Commander. So good of you to contact me. How can I help you exactly? I serve within the Imperial Outreach Division. Specifically, I seek out opportunities to inspire greatness among our noble frontline soldiers. Darth Krovos is giving a speech to our forces gathered at Viken Space Dock in preparation for their deployment. This could be an opportunity to say a few words of your own. Your actions have made you a living legend, after all. Certainty of victory inspires confidence. Hearing that you are out there fighting the same fight they are will undoubtedly instill that confidence in our troops. Can you give me... Well, just keep it short. Keep it short. I don't have... I don't have enough time to uh, to do any of this bullshit. Like, uh, inspiring troops is not my style, alright? I'm more of a totalitarian style. Just do your thing, whatever. I don't inspire people at all, boys. In real life, I'm the contrary, but... Uh, in game, in game, every time, whatever game I play, I like to be the opposite of what I would be. It's just fun, I guess. Fine, but this had better be fast. Oh, even a handful of words from a decorated hero such as yourself will carry great weight. We shall await your arrival with bated breath. Safe travels. NRO2, did you set up this speech to the troops on Viken Space Dock? No, but Lord Izar is correct in his assessment. This is an excellent opportunity to inspire confidence in the Empire's troops. Inspired troops are capable of fighting at capacities near 83% above baseline. Speak well and victory will follow. What if I'm not a good speaker? Well, well then there's a problem. It's better to not say anything than to say something stupid. I feel like, uh, have they thought about that? I don't know, boys. I, I don't know if they thought about that. Meet Lord Izar on the fleet. Uh, what fleet? The, the Imperial fleet? So, the Imperial Outrage Division. Where? Okay, so let me see really quick. Maybe we got a... Oh, yeah. Imperial fleet. Straight up. Oh, it's been a while since we've went to the actual Imperial fleet, boys. It's been a while since we went to that uh, region. We always stick uh, to this, uh, this over here, this side. We never got... We... We never really went in this uh, region that much, so that's interesting. All right, let's travel back to the fleet, boys. It's been a while. All right, here we go, boys. Back in the fleet. I'm supposed to make a speech or something uh, to a bunch of people in the cantina. Uh, should they be working instead of being in the cantina? I don't know, boys. Seems like they're a bunch of useless bricks if they're not if they're not actually working. But uh, maybe that's just me. I don't know, boys. Let's just see what we got right here. Hold on. What? Damn. This game is lagging a lot. There's a lot of people right now. 120 people right here. This is not good. It's too many people in the fleet, my guy. We might, we might want to change places. Otherwise, this game's going to crash on me. Perfect. I have a really bad computer, boys. I really need to update it. I don't have the money for it. Not right now, at least. I can sense the strength in each and every one of you. The passion for victory and the power to achieve it. At the muzzles of your blasters, at the points of your blades, our ancient enemies shall finally be destroyed for the Empire! We meet again. Zasha and her family send their regards. With your alliance fighting alongside the Empire, Victory is within our grasp. You were promoted. Well done. Congratulations on joining the Dark Council. Thank you. I hope to serve our empire as ably as you have. They're all yours. 
what could I possibly say to them though? I don't know, boys. All right. Uh, speak of war and victory. Praise imperial traditions. Encourage reform and equality. What? Who would choose number two? What kind of a bullshit is this? This is an empire, not a republic. Ain't nobody's gonna do, start talking about democracy in this bullshit place. Come on now. Speak of war and victory. I think war and victory... Uh, are we going the mustache side, boys? I think we're gonna go the mustache side. Why not? Darth Krovo spoke the truth. Victory over the Republic is inevitable. The Republic is weak and cowardly. They will never be able to stand against us. You are soldiers of the Sith Empire, the greatest army to ever march across the galaxy. You will board your ships, take up your weapons, charge into the heat of battle, and win for the Sith Empire. To your sh ships! There we go, man. That's how you do. That's how you do it. Well done, Commander. Simple and to the point, like a fine weapon. Exactly. A bit simplistic, perhaps, but clearly effective. Yeah, it's effective. Don't change anything that's effective. Talk the uh, do the old mustache uh, mustache way of the uh, of talking, and uh, you're good. You're good to go, boys. All right, well, that was it. Just me acting like a mustachey guy. All right, that's all good then. Uh, let's see what the next thing. Click to launch uh, play onslaught. So preparing the way. So we got a, the next thing, I guess, uh, which is going to be uh, the next, uh, I guess, uh, arc. So we're going to be starting up the next arc, boys. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's let's jump on it. Uh, jump onto it, boys. Oh boy, I'm about to get uh, copyrighted, aren't I? All right, boys. Well, this is it, right? Oh, I I won't get copyrighted. That's right, because I I got rid of the music altogether, boys. All right, well, onslaught. Let's go. Brand new episode, boys. Let's do this. I like when they do that. War consumes the galaxy, hungering for dominance. The ruthless Sith Empire fights to destroy the ancient enemies in the Galactic Republic. What's next? What's the what's the next thing right here? Assembling an overwhelming fleet of the Empire's most powerful warships, Darth Malgus sets out to obliterate a new and highly advanced Republic shipyard on the planet Corellia. So we're heading out to Corellia once more, boys. Uh, now, desperate to prevent this catastrophe, uh, the Republic rushes to gather the forces necessary to defend this vital facility one that could finally turn the tide of the war in their favor. All right, so we're fighting over Corellia, boys, to turn the tide of the war. Whoever wins Corellia, which is in the core itself, it's really close to Coruscant. So obviously we're going to be able, if we take Corellia, we're going to have a straight pathway to uh, the, the, uh, the, the shipyards of uh, Quat, the uh, Quat shipyards, I think. And a direct, uh, direct route as well to Coruscant, all right? It's it's really simple. It's going to be super fantastic. I wish we could have the music on just to help ourselves, but we can't have the music, boys. So, you know, we do what we got. Escort one to Overlord, scanning for hostiles now. This 
one is mine. Target destroyed. Another kill, and another step closer to victory. Let's regroup. Commander. Malchus. Your assistance with the 38th Fleet's operations has been exemplary. But I am now recalling them for a special assignment. Empress Asina invites you to join a special meeting of the Dark Council aboard Viking Space Dock. We will discuss the details of the operation there. Few outside of the Sith have ever been invited to such a meeting. Such is our respect for your strength. I hope I, I, I am the first of many. Thank you, I guess. This is long overdue. I think it's long overdue. Nothing more than what I've been owed for a long time now. We await your arrival. Malga's out. It looks like we've been invited to a party, boys. The Meridian Complex. A state-of-the-art Republic shipyard. It nears completion on the planet Corellia. My spies report that it can produce ships faster than any of our shipyards and at half the energy cost. That hardly seems possible. Based on the technical readouts Zarian has acquired, I assure you it is entirely possible. Perhaps it is even a conservative estimate. Malgus, Krovos, your plan for destroying this facility? By securing our frontline positions and withdrawing all but the most crucial warships, we have formed an assault armada of unrivaled size and power. Under our command, this mighty fleet will burn the Republic's new shipyard to ash and destroy any hope of victory that might remain among their people. How can I help exactly? Will the Alliance be joining this assault on Corellia? Yes, but we have another objective to complete first. We have gathered enough fuel ships to carry our fleet to Corellia without stopping. Our enemies are in no such position. The Republic will scramble reinforcements from all corners of the galaxy. Wherever they stop to resupply, we must disable or destroy them. We have already identified one likely refueling point for the Republic ships. The planet Onderon. Conveniently, I am already engaged in operations to undermine Republic control of that planet. However, my forces are meager, to say the least. But with the aid of the Alliance and its commander, I am confident that I can successfully delay any Republic reinforcements that pass by. Hope you're better than Malora. Yeah, hope you're better than her. That's for sure. Your predecessor wasn't the most focused ally. I hope you do better. I'm confident that we'll work well together. Excellent. Keep your spies in place, Jarian. We must know everything about the shipyard and its defenses. Anathel, Varon, be ready to provide any assistance that Malgos or Krovos should request. This operation is the Empire's top priority. Understood. My logistical networks are entirely at their disposal, Empress. Then this meeting is complete. Bow respectfully. Do not bow. I don't bow to anybody. I'm a bounty hunter, remember, I'm not a Sith. I don't bow to anybody, boys. Alright, let's see what we got right here. Commander, fancy meeting you here. Major Anry, are you joining the mission on Onderon? Nah, I pulled off Aaron's operation this time. We're headed for some mined out rock called Mechshar. But word is we might catch up groundside on Corellia. Hey, I've missed you, my girl. It's good to see you again. I've missed you since Osis. How have you been? Same old, same old. Fly here, blow up that, sneak into this, kill everyone. You know the drill. Yeah, the same truth, old, same old, I guess. you fought with the best, everything else just seems a bit dull. Know what I mean? Major Anry, I need to speak with the commander. Alone. Of course, my lord. Please excuse me. Until next time, commander. Till next time, my girl.
What do you want, Malagus? The of Sith to seek their own advancement. Members of the Dark Council, most of all. Victory on Corellia benefits us all. It advances us all. Should Lord Savick or any other council member forget their priorities in my absence, the Empress grants you leave to remind them. How far should I take it? The Empire really has changed, I guess. Really, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, I'll handle it, I guess. I don't expect to have any problems keeping them in line. Good. Lord Savick awaits you. Farewell, Commander. One thing's for sure, they're trusting a bounty hunter to do, uh, to do the job now. Come in, Lana. Interesting. Our objective is Onderon. Take everyone we can spare. You'll be briefed on arrival. Understood. We'll depart the Onderon at once. See, there was no reason for me to bow, since apparently Empress Asina just gave me the permission to act as, as if I was basically her. So, that's interesting. Meet Lana on their own. Okay, I can do that, I guess. Let's uh, travel back to Andorra. This place looks pretty beautiful. I like this place a lot, boys. The whole throne room and everything. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, uh, let's uh, let's head back to Andorra, boys. We got a lot of, uh, of of stuff to do really quick. Not of uh, action. Not a lot of action in this video, but a lot of like uh, a lot of talking and stuff. But I like this this type of thing in Star Wars. This is what the thing I like the most is the. It's politics in this in Star Wars. I like the most, boys. It's just, it's so cool. It's so intriguing to see who's talks with who, who's trying to betray who. It's like a Roman Empire type of movie every time. It's like it's super cool. It's just badass. I love it, boys, so much. It's what I love about Star Wars the most is the whole politics side about it, boys. It's just I love it so much. It's, it's uh, intriguing to say the least. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've been to uh, uh, Onderon itself. Pretty sure Onderon is really the first time we've been here. So, it's a beautiful planet though. It looks a lot like an Egyptian type of planet. Uh, you can see the architecture. Maybe a Greek, a Greek type of architecture as well. Like Mediterranean and, uh, type, uh, as, if you know what I mean. It looks a lot like it. Although Onderon is officially a Republic planet, King Petrif is eager to sell his world's resources outside of that allegiance. Which is where the Empire comes in. Precisely. Darth Savick is exploiting the King's greed to turn him into an Imperial asset. But his noble council hasn't followed suit. Petrif may have the throne, but the nobles have control of the capital city and day-to-day -day operations. If they learn of his Imperial ties, he could be deposed. What about the Republic fleet we're here to destroy? Still gathering in orbit. They're preparing for refueling and resupply operations. Savik lacks the resources to attack the fleet directly. I believe she intends to use her control over Petrif instead. We'll deal with this ourselves? Uh, yeah, we'll just deal with this ourselves. Forget Savik. Call in our ships and order them to destroy the fleet. Yeah, just destroy the fleets right away. Commodore Pardax strongly advises against it. The Republic fleet is sizable. We would incur significant losses and couldn't guarantee total destruction of the enemy. Shall we get started? All right then, let's get uh, overly political about it, I guess. Let's just try and manipulate uh, the king and their advisors. I guess we're, uh, we're here to to uh, do this the old way, old fashioned way, boys. Trying to manipulate people into doing things. This is an interesting place right here. Nice little temple right here, boys. You can see all the uh, different little elements in there. Very intriguing place. This seems like uh, that type of uh, planet where it's a bunch of rich people not doing much. Really, not doing much in their days. I like this, though, uh, this type of place, boys. I like a lot. Who is this guy? This guy has a really nice costume. Look at this. I like his costume a lot. He, li he has like a, like a, the, the knights, right? The, the white, uh, the red knights. He has like that type of red guards and stuff. He has that type of costume. He modified it. It's really cool. We got a lot of uh, uh, of uh, messages as well. Hold on. Before I interact with any of them, I really do want to uh, to look at all my messages. I've got a lot of them. Uh, really quick. So yeah. hold on. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to you. Phil mail. Oh, there we go. There we go. So Reina Temple. Uh, that's from the. Uh, that's the girl from the Chess Ascendancy. Uh, to all Alliance command staff, given my role uh, as a liaison, given my role as a liaison with the Chiss at this I would prefer to have my name left out of the 
of any staffing uh, or roster information shared with our allies in the Sith Empire. Uh, your discretion in the matter is much appreciated. So, all right, so she doesn't want to be uh, doxxed, basically. Uh, T7, uh, what about you? Your actions on Osus have uh, cemented my superiors. Uh, view uh, that the Alliance will play an, an invaluable uh, role in the attaining overall victory. Good. Major Henry, I hold you. Uh, I'm back ab aboard our old ship, and I'm telling you, I have never been so popular. Can't want a meter without someone way, uh, wanting to hear the story of how I got to fight side by side with the legendary, amazing commander of awesomeness. Okay. You've gotten me more free drinks that I can handle, and let me tell you, that is an accomplishment indeed. Re rest assured, I've put my second-hand celebrity to good use. Got my little garden plot moved from the back corner of the uh, deck 15 locker room all the way to the center of the deck for a uh, uh, four officers mess. Next thing I know, the shiny academy gr uh, grads will be watering it from me so they can so they can get a favor. Life is good. You ever need a raven squad for a mission? We're all yours. Good, good to know, man. Moff Byron, it's been a while. Uh, Commander, your actions is revol uh, uh, in resolving the uh, Asus uh, situation we was very impressive. Okay, all this bullshit and stuff like that, boys. Let's just talk to uh, Darth, uh, Darth Savick. Surprised to find you absent upon my return from the Senate, my king. Do you expect to visit the capital soon? I will return when it suits me. We have matters to discuss. When do you think it would suit you to return? You overstepped, Senator. It is your job to share my decisions with the Republic, not to question them. Do not bother me again! The nobles meddling was bad enough without Nebet to stir them up further. This is intolerable. Am I not king? Do I not rule this world? They clearly don't respect your power, dear king. And to send a senator back here. Perhaps the Republic believes you need more supervision. But you need not concern yourself. I have brought a powerful ally to ensure nothing comes of your enemy's plans. Allow me to introduce the Alliance Commander. Alright, so I can either bow respectfully to him, uh, mock the king for some reason, or this will be fun. Is there, a, is this enough? It's not even, it's not like uh, any of them are a dark side option or anything. All right, so I don't know what to tell you right here. It's kind of weird that I would mock the king. I don't want to bow to him, though. I mean, I've, he's, he's a lesser man than me, so there's no way I'm going to bow to him. Uh, this will be fun. Just mock the king. You know what? Let's just say, let's just, this will be fun, I guess. I rule my own planet, too. We've got a lot in common. Well, I'm sure yours is nice, too. Welcome. <sighs> Nebet's provocations have utterly drained me. A hearty meal will aid in my recovery. Do enjoy your visit. All right, so it went better than uh, expected, for, uh, maybe. See, the king all but eats from my hand. He is the key to our victory here. Onderon's capital is equipped with powerful defensive cannons that could easily destroy the Republic fleet in orbit. The cannons cannot be operated remotely, but if we spur the king into a civil war against his nobles, the distraction will suffice. We Can't we just kill the nobles themselves? The like, Seize control of the why is why this all thing? The Republic fleet before they even realize they're in danger. You know, relying on him is kind of foolish. Seems overly complicated. You know what? Seems overly complicated for no reason. Why don't we just kill the nobles instead and prevent the civil war altogether? Just let them let him replace the nobles. Why we, don't we just do that? Why the distraction? If he's king, can't he simply walk us in or just order his people to fire the guns? Most of the palace staff, especially the soldiers guarding it, are loyal to the Republic. We can't risk them warning the fleet before the cannons are fired. Tetris already suspects that his nobles are moving against him. We need to push that paranoia further. Through intermediaries, 
I have hired a band of mercenaries to infiltrate the hunting lodge and assassinate the king. Fortunately, you will swoop in to defeat these deadly attackers just in time. You will save the king, earn his trust, and push him further from his nobles all at once. What if I want the king to die? Because it's either the nobles die or the king dies. It's either one of those. I don't... Why, why would I save him? Uh, you're wasting my time. Who am I up against? Consider it done. No, you're wasting my time. I'm not your lackey. Killing a few mercenaries? I have better things to do. It is certainly beneath your talents, but you must see the value in this sort of escalation. Petrif will be pushed over the edge, straight into our hands. If my calculations are accurate, the mercenaries will arrive any moment now. I'll be happy to guide you to them over the comp. Good luck. All right, so she really wants me to just do this whole plot twist type of thing. Like, I'm here, oh, out of this last second to kill him off. Something tells me, something tells me that I'm not going to be able to save him. I'm going to arrive too late or something. He's actually going to die for real. It, this mission's going to go to bits, boys. I got a feeling that this is what's going to happen. Like, why, why would I do that, man? Why would, why do I not just try and assassinate the nobles myself? I could definitely do that. I mean, it's not a, uh, I'm a bounty hunter. I can do this. What the hell? All right, let's just do our thing. Imperial guards. All right. Let me just uh, let me just go uh, go ahead and uh, deal with these assassin droids. Like honestly, this is stupid. This is super stupid, boys. It's gonna go bad. I can feel. I can feel it. He's just gonna die straight up. I can feel it. This is not good. I mean, this is going on our hand, though. I mean, if he gets assassinated, then we could literally blame the Republic themselves. Uh, the nobles. We could blame the nobles. They could get a trial or something. So that could be good, but the trial would take too much time, though. I don't know, boys. We'll see. Let me just go ahead and uh, defeat those droids really quick. Defeat them all, boys. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, all of them real quick, boys. Bunch of assassins everywhere. All right, all right, all right. I got you, my guy. I'm gonna save you. Why is this game lagging so much right now? My guy, you are gonna be fine. I got you right there. I'm gonna be right here. You just deal with this real quick. We got a bunch of royal guards as well coming by. You just kill them off real quick. Kill these assassins off. Boom, just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna save you. Don't worry about it, man. I'm, I'm on my way. You're worrying way too much. Way too much, my guy. All right, let's go. Let's do our thing. I'm actually I'm gonna need my shell right here. They they kind of do a little bit of damage, uh, a lot of damage. These assassins, kind of crazy when you think about it. All right, what the hell, man? So many of them are the, uh, right now. You can't deal with him alone. Fucking uh, and useless guards, boys. Goddamn useless guards. Let's go kill them off. All of them. Go get him. There we go. I got I got this guy right here. And that other assassin droid. Alright, alright. I got you. So find the security station. We got this right here. We just gotta go here. Is he gonna be okay? Oh god. Alright, let's 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 just shoot this thing up. And uh, kill these guys, I, I, I guess. There we go. There they go, uh, both boys. There's the security station right there. Installing uh, data spikes. Boom, there we go. One moment. There is a backup terminal nearby. Disable it. Backup terminal. So I got to disable it. All right, all right, all right. So I guess it's because they, she doesn't want us to see... Uh, she doesn't want them to be able to see the the actual, you know, the cameras and stuff. I don't know, boys. Maybe they don't want us to... Uh, they don't want anybody to figure out our whole plan or something. It's very intricate uh, of a plan, to be honest. All right, let's go. Just gotta save the king now, I guess. It's the only thing that's left. Is there, is he, I, I got a feeling he's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead, boys. There's no way, this is, this is too easy. Just like she said. Just like Vishavisla literally just said. This mission is way too easy. Something's off right here. I have, I'm supposed to go, uh, I'm supposed to go here. Can I not go here? What's going on here? I can't, uh, I can't go through here. 
think I gotta get uh, from another side, boys. There's another entry point I can take. Uh, most definitely. So let's just try and take that point. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go from uh, that side right here, boys, instead. Yeah, I can interact with this door. Let's go. You good, buddy? Oh, what the fuck just happened here? Oh, my God. Don't tell me they killed him. What did they tell me, man? The gand? Oh, you piece of shit. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna pay for this if you kill them. This is not gonna go well. Can tell, boys, already. He's probably dead. My God, where's he at? Yo, we gotta, we gotta get him. They're, they're doing a lot of damage to me right now. What the hell? It's like uh, a sniper of some sort. He's a really good bounty hunter, that's for sure. What just happened? Alright, I got him. I can't tell you why you were deceived. Ask nothing, just leave. Ah, uh, kill him. Ah, just kill him off. It's part of the plan after all. Are these the nobles? I got a feeling these are the uh, yeah the, the the nobles right here, boys. This is an outrage. They think they can kill me. Me. I am the king of Andoran. Once they realized your strength, Nibet and her republic conspirators knew they could no longer hope to control you. Killing you was their only option. But I'm the king. Uh, yes. I have deployed my droids to defend the premises. I assure you that you're now quite safe. Good, good, excellent. Well done, yes. My king, of your cousins, they're still at the ancient proving grounds. And? What do they have to do with any of this? It's possible they're in danger too, good king. If your enemies are attacking you, they could also target your family. But the commander who valiantly saved your life can certainly rescue your cousins as well. Reassure Petrif, frighten Petrif. Why would I frighten him? Okay, you know what? This this is kind of stupid. Say nothing. I I'll just say nothing. Good then. Get on with it. My blaster. I need my blaster. Oh, where did I put it? What an idiot that king is. He's a true idiot, boys. Now you want to be fed to do another quest? Even my greatest estimate. We have given him fear. Now, we must give him anger. Find the king's cousins at the ancient proving grounds. Kill them. Then spread evidence that Nibet is to blame. Petrif will demand retribution and we'll have our diversion. We should take them alive? I'm not your servant. You know what? We should take them alive. We should take them prisoner instead of killing them. They might be useful later, and Petrif won't know the difference. They're even duller than the king. I doubt the effort is worthy of the gain, but do as you please, Commander. The Onderon wilds are treacherous. You should take a guide with knowledge of the terrain. Speed is crucial. The Republic fleet is about to begin refueling, but my plan is unfolding perfectly. Victory will be ours. It better be ours, otherwise you're 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 gonna answer for it, my girl. Because all this time I could have just sent my army right here or my navy. So if I'm wasting my time instead of sending my army or my navy right here, she's gonna be out of trouble, boys. I swear. All right, let's just disintegrate this one, and I'm actually gonna take this one. This is armoring. I think this might be really good for one of my armors right here. Maybe this one right here, armor. Yeah, oh, it's a lot better. It's a lot better, boys. There we go. Got already a much better armor. All right, so what do we have next? Uh, we are supposed to go into that room. All right, so I'm going to leave it right here, boys. We basically got to talk with Lana next. I'm just going to leave the video right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys uh, for the next uh, one. Keep it easy.